Hi everybody, I'm Hugh Burrell and welcome back to Golf Town's Come Out and Play Beginner Golf Series with Lisa Longball. Now Lisa, let's talk etiquette on the golf course. Lots of things for the beginner golfer to be aware of out there in terms of etiquette. Etiquette is huge. It's so important. You want to be respectful of your playing partners. One of the... Oh, hang on a second. Oh. It's real quick, real quick. I told you never to call me here. I'll call you back. The phone. The you big know, one. Absolutely. You know, most people get that they're supposed to turn their ringer off, but a lot of people put it to vibrate. You don't want to do that because it actually is going to create a vibration in the golf cart and it will really disturb your playing yeah, partners. You can, you can really hear that. Uh, lots of things for not just the beginner golfer, but all golfers to be aware of. The obvious ones, don't talk in your partner's backswing, don't walk on their putting line, but also something that's overlooked a lot, repairing pitch and divot marks. Absolutely. When you get to the green, the rule of thumb, you want to repair your pitch mark and to others. Now, most people do this incorrectly. They see a little pitch mark, a little divot into the green, so they think, oh gosh, I should be pulling the green up. That is terrible. The way you want to properly repair your pitch mark is you want to take your divot repair tool, you want to push it in on the outside of the pitch mark and pull it towards the center and pull it towards the center. You don't want to lift it up. It's always pushing that grass towards the center. Yeah, and, and on the side of the cart, you'll notice a couple of, of jugs of what looks like dirt, but it's not really just dirt. No, I, a lot of people, beginner golfers, don't realize it's even there. So you want to replace your divots. If you make a divot in the fairway, so that beaver pelt that goes flying through the air, and if you can replace it, great, you want to step on it. But if you can't replace it, grab one of those jugs that you refer to, it's a grass seed. Sprinkle the grass seed and then you want to smooth it out with your foot and Bob's your uncle. We talk about the golf cart. There's lots to think about too when you're in the golf cart. Oh, absolutely. So when you're in your golf cart, a lot of people who are new golfers don't realize you can't come too close to the green. You want to be minimum 30 to 40 yards away from the green. Most golf courses will have a sign that say carts with an arrow this way. I've seen people drive on the green. It's not funny. Those greenskeepers work really hard. And how do you feel about music? You know what? I'm a fan of music. I love having a speaker, especially in a corporate or charity golf tournament. But here's the Thing. Just because you love Def Leppard doesn't mean the six groups behind you do. So make sure it's at a good level. That's right. So if you're going to play music in the golf cart, make sure it's good music. 